Hello, I'm Pat Ayer with PQIA News, and today we'll be talking about motor oils. Every car uses it. They can't run without it. But most of us don't know much about motor oil. Although you may think all oil is the same, they are not. We have Tom Glenn, the president of Petroleum Quality Institute of America, with us today to help us understand the differences and what to look for when buying motor oil. By the way, when we spoke with Tom in preparing for the story, it was starting to sound a little technical, especially when he handed me these molecules. I told him, keep it simple. So, Tom, what do we need to know about motor oils? Well, the number one thing we need to know is that they're not all the same. There are differences. And when you buy motor oil, you should be aware of those differences because they can make a big difference in how they operate in your car. To help you understand, I know you said keep it simple, so I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i tried my best here. Please don't. Not, we need to understand the same. my best not to bring out Please the molecules. Please don't, don't. Not nope. to bring out the <laughs> molecules. Okay. To, to keep it simple, I'll start by saying that motor oils have changed a lot over the time. Back in the 1930s and 1940s, when you bought motor oil, this is what you got. It was uh, in a glass bottle, metal spout. Look heavy. Through. Yeah, it's heavy. A lot of glass involved and thick glass. But that's what you were buying back then. But importantly, <clears throat> motor oils have changed over the time. The technology that goes into that has changed over the time significantly. As an example, if you look at uh, my old cell phone, this is wow. what it looked like. Yeah, this is what it looked like back in about 20, 25 years ago when I used to use this. Today, this is my cell phone. The technology in this cell phone has changed over time. The technology that goes into motor oils has changed significantly over time. So a little test. If you were to look at these phones and put them in order of vintage, what order would you put them in? Let's see, that goes there. I love this. I, I didn't think I could actually live without a Blackberry until these came along. Yeah, you're, and you're right. That, that is the order of, of the vintage of these cell phones. And uh, it is an important, important message here, more than the, than the technology changing, is, and it, that is an important message, technology has changed, as it has in the motor oils. It's changed. As this technology, you wouldn't put this motor oil in your car, just as you wouldn't walk around using this cell phone. I don't even think you could get service. The service has so changed since then. The same about motor oils. But importantly, some of the older technologies that go back 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, even 75 years, you can still find on the shelves. And uh, I'm going to give you another little test to, to really uh, emphasize my point about that. Here are some coins. Just quickly sort those coins by, by what you think are old and new coin. I can do that. These are the old. And this is the new points. Okay, now, the purpose of this is to show that some of these coins are new. This one here is not. But more than likely, the reason you picked it, I'm assuming, is because it's shiny. We took an old coin. This is a 1942 coin. We shined it up to look new. In fact, this coin could have been used back in the old days to buy this oil. That's how long this coin's been around. But it looks new because we shined it up. The same can happen with motor oil. If I were to ask you to put these bottles in order, or these products in order by age, you'd probably show this, this, and what we know today as the quart bottle of motor oil. Now, if I told you that we, the Petroleum Quality Institute of America, from time to time find some of this old oil and the new bottle. I think you'd be very surprised, but in fact we do. We find some of this old technology in new bottles on, in, in new appearing bottles on the shelf. So you're trying, you, you just said that we could buy a quart of oil and we could find the old oil in new bottles. The old technology in new bottles. That's uh shocking. Yeah, it, it, it certainly is, and it's shocking every time we see it. And it may not be oil that goes back to the 1930s, although we do find it, and, and 
that I wouldn't say rarely, we do find it in the marketplace, some of the old technology in new bottles. So when you go to the store, the assumption is, just like the assumption is with these coins, that it's shiny, it's probably new. It's a new bottle, it's probably new technology. Not necessarily. And if I were to give you more time to sort these coins, what would you have done to make sure you had it in the right order? I would have looked at the dates. Yeah, as, as, as most probably would if you asked them to sort the coins and you didn't ask them to do it quickly. So you were at a bit of a disadvantage in that regards, as a consumer might be when they buy the motor oil if they don't check the date. But there is no date. It doesn't say 2019 or 1932 in, in simple numbers on the, on the motor oil that you buy. Instead, there's an American Petroleum Institute code on the bottle that gives you a time frame when that specification was current. To explain that, I brought along this chart. As you can see on this chart, it runs from what is referred to as an API SA oil all the way up to an SN+. There are pictures of old cars and new cars. To the left of the, is an old car. That's a car that goes back to the 1920s, 1930s. And that corresponds to an API SA oil. It had no additives in it. It was the most basic oil lubricant you could put in a car. And then as you move forward, there were changes in technology from SA to SB, SC, right on up to the current SN+. That technology changed significantly, as have the cars as shown on this chart. Now, if you put an SA oil in today's car, you would cause harm. As the chart shows, that oil is obsolete, can cause equipment harm. The same for SB, SC, SD, and SE. So if you buy a motor oil, you see motor oil on the shelf that says it's API SA, or SB, or SC, SD, SE. That is oil that is obsolete and can cause harm to your engine. Also, if it says SF, SG, SH, that is an obsolete specification as well. The current specifications are SJ, SL, SM, but most of the oil on the shelf today would be an API SN or SN+. Plus. That's the oil that is recommended for most cars on the road today. SNs and SN pluses are backwards compatible. That means if it says SN on it, SN plus, you can use it if your owner's manual says SM, SL, SJ, right on back to the earliest specification. So before you buy oil, understand there is a code, like the date on a coin, there is a code on that container that tells you what the vintage of that oil is and what specification it meets. Wow, this is a very informative chart. Where can our viewers find this? This chart is available on the PQIA website at www.pqia.org. To wrap it up, number one, motor oils are not all the same. Two, obsolete motor oils that can damage engines are still on store shelves. Three, read your car owner's manual and the labels on motor oil bottles before you buy to make sure you're buying the right oil for your car. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you at the lab for our next video.